Hello, hello everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. It is a beautiful day here in Southern Oregon. Sunny and gorgeous, a little crisp, but really, really uh, a wonderful day. I wanted to get this video up on the fabric journal or the some of the fabric journals or in a sneak peek of the ones that are not finished, but this is one that is finished so that you can um, see them and get an idea if it's something that you're interested in or you just want to learn something. Uh, these are these were so much fun. Made from scrap fabric. These are all stitched together with different types of stitching on um, on my machine as well as some hand stitching done. Some vintage buttons, some beads, uh, a book plate on the front and this book plate. Um, you can put a different uh, label in the front if you would like this uh, you can either cover it up or, or kind of pull that out these are sewn on as well as attached with um, some good good glue um, so yeah lots lots of fun vintage vintage lace and different little things and this is just just fun just fun putting all these little bits and scraps of, of fabric together uh, some of the lace is tea dyed or coffee dyed. Uh, most of it, like I say, is vintage. It is, let me get a measurement for you. It is, and hopefully I'm seeing right in frame. Let's see, what is that? That is, it's about six and a quarter wide by approximately nine and a quarter, nine and a half ish tall. Not really like a standard size because, you know. And then the spine is about an inch and a half, give or take. So there's that. It has three signatures of 30 pages each, you know, 15 folded in half and then stitched in. It has quite a few tags, a lot of little frou-frou stuff on it that you, you know, you can keep those in there or take them out and do whatever you want. These journals, I really wanted to be for for you for you to you know if you love to write if you love poetry if you love to just keep photos and your magical moments or you want a gratitude journal I mean there's just so many different things or, or if you just love to draw and and sketch or paint or whatever you can do that in these journals there there are three signatures and they did you know add pockets and tucks and tags and things but all of those can come out or stay however you want to do it or or maybe you just want to make a grocery list maybe you just want to write down um <laughs> maybe you just want to write down what you're going to do tomorrow and so anyway that's what these are for and so it's tied with um a little uh, tied with um sorry silk i gotta make sure that i'm staying in frame here because i did kind of zoom in because someone said last time that it it was a little far away so i don't want to be out out of frame for that so the sorry silk here opens up and on the inside you will see that it is also fabric on the inside with tucks right just on the inside of the cover front and back anyway just tuck spots in here with different tags little bits of ephemera and I just dropped that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, a book here with a little Edith Holden. I say a little, a lot, don't I? Edith Holden um, image uh, from her, uh, one of her book pages. It's a bramble and leaves just to, you know, write your grocery list down or something, something. A card here, just a journal card. Again, these can stay in or come out. These images are from, a pro, you know, the early 1600s. They were uh, uh, quite a few drawings. Um, and uh, they, uh, all I did was, um, they're digital, so they are on a vellum. Printed on vellum. So they are copyright free. They are so old. This says adventure. I think you can probably see that. Hopefully I'm zoomed in enough. Each signature 
uh, section has a decorated kind of front page. So that's that. And then um, some rice paper. This is some really nice, nice paper. Each one just has one single sheet in it. Most of them are just tea dyed, coffee dyed, um, blank pages uh, that I did a little, uh, some stenciling on. Uh, so, uh, um, what do you call that? What do you call that stuff? Uh, I can't remember what you call that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, some tabs on here more pages and then uh some of the book pages from the book that had um the images from from the early 1600s these are these are covers uh, some of these are are copies of the covers of the books that were written about the botanicals of the different area and eras and they are in um french most of them. So there's tuck there, music page in each one, a, um, I don't even know. I don't even know. Just another pocket here. Some paper clips. These are just simple little paper clips that are decorated. I saw, I don't remember who did this. I won't, I don't remember who did that. But they are so amazing, so I, I copied them. It's not my original idea, not at all, not even a little bit. But I thought they were really fun to have. So another journaling card. And these, I you know, I just distressed them and made them just kind of just fun, fun. Something for fun. Lots, like lots and lots. Some Edith Holden book pages. There's just one page in each signature, so three of them. back. Another tuck spot with another paper clip. Take that guy, put it behind. A journaling card with some stenciling on the back and on the tea dyed paper. Tuck spot there and a tuck spot there. A receipt for I have no idea what because it is in French, but something to write on. Something, something, something. Again, you can keep these things in or take them out or whatever you want. So, yeah, so fun, huh? Fun, fun, fun. I love tea dyeing. I love seeing the effects of how the the tea and, and coffee dye comes dye comes out. Some graph paper, more graph paper. There's a little spot to tuck things, and these are just some uh a scrapbook paper that is cut out. It's a Tim Holtz, and I don't remember which one, I'm sorry, but little bits of scrapbook paper for using for bookmarks or whatever. Again, these can be used for bookmarks too. Just distressed with a little distress ink and just some fun. It says every, every detail of their journey. Ledger paper. That's what this is. Ledger paper. <laughs> oh, my brain. These are uh, just more scraps that I stitched onto the pages so that you'll have something to um, flip the pages with if you want. Different sections. So we're into the second signature. More of the images. And this one is, it says dreams on the front yeah, with uh, the vintage buttons and lace and Fun things on there. Another piece of that um, rice paper. More coffee type paper. And then this is a, a book page um, that talks about, the book was about the images that were that were um, compiled about the botanicals. The great book, a really fun, fun book. But the images are copyright free and I got the images offline the book um is uh the naming of names it's a fun, really awesome book very 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 fun uh information on the botanicals so same thing nothing too exciting just stenciled pages lots of room for those photos and those magical thoughts that you have 
or or that perfect drawing that you have just got to get out got to get out the paper is pretty it's decent it's not super fancy so it's um you just can't feel bad about using them just use them right on them stick on them glue on them uh, I was going to do something in the center of uh, each signature with the uh, um, with the tie, so I left them kind of long, but I haven't done that. Hmm, forgot about that. Edith Holden, more music pages. They're very, they're all exactly the same. The signatures are exactly the same in each one. They just have different uh, tuck spots and different cards, um, different bits of ephemera that again like i said you can take them out to keep them in just you know jot on them make a little note that one might be a little hard unless you have a white marker little paper clips and flip there for sticking receipts in or something another sheet of ledger paper this is oh this go actually goes inside of this envelope it flips out like that and there are two blank um cards or sheets in here and they go inside of that like that and it flips over like that so a little tuck behind here on this and this is just stamping on here um and a little bit of ephemera there Memories, memories here. For the last signature, and again, exactly the same. Just different tuck spots, a ticket here. <laughs> the pages, our tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. Another little tuck here with the uh, journaling cards. And a little spot here to stick something. It says, a very wonderful place. And then this is a business card. I thought this was so cute. Or passenger ticket. I'm sorry, it's a baggage check for wherever this airline is. Cute, cute. Tim Holtz. That was Tim Holtz, I believe. Pages. Um, talk in here. I don't have anything in there, but there's room for things there. Let's see. I know there were some thing, other things I wanted to talk about. I don't know what they were. Just some uh, tags, pockets. This is Believe. A journaling card or a bookmark or whatever. And it doesn't want to go behind there for some reason. There we go. Another, um, oh, that's why. Because the paper clip was on there. <laughs> didn't take the paper clip off. And this, I see I didn't put these things back in. Sorry. An envelope. It was just stamped on. You can use it or not, or use it to stash things in. You could put your, you know, put your money in there and stash it in here for those, you know, your mad money. Another image from, uh, from the, you know, whenever that was, 1600s, sometime early in there. Let's put that back in there. I'll tuck here. Graph paper, book pages. We're getting to the end. You guys are so great for hanging with me through this. But there you go. That gives you a really good idea of what what the journals have in them, and they will all be the same. Uh, another spot back here. I did put a little spot, uh, a tuck for your pens, and then anything else you could even put a um, another you know writing notepad in the back of it. They each have um, two bulldog clips so that they will open, uh, you know, hold the pages open for you for when you're drawing or journaling or doing whatever you're doing. And so that is that. That's that, little baby. And then these are, I'm going to show you, um, there are five other ones. They are, like again, they're not complete. They, um, I have the pages kind of in there, but they're not stitch in, stitched in, and I don't have them decorated yet. Don't. So there's a cream one there, and here's another one. They all have vintage buttons and antique um, lace, as well as some new lace. This one is kind of a sage green and tannish brown. 
so fun. That one, and then there is a brown one. And this lace of some really wonderful vintage lace, but I did coffee dye this lace, and I, I just thought it was really fun, really fun. I guess I didn't, oh, did I open that one? I didn't. Each, each one on the inside has fabric pockets. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? Fabric pockets with, with some lace there. And, you know, the pages that are not stitched in yet. They're all like that. And they're all going to be approximately the same size. And then the last one is, it's red and white. Um, and this one was just kind of turned out because these were scraps that I had. So I thought this one would be kind of fun for Christmas. So there's the inside. And see, there's the pages that'll go in. They're all very, very similar, have different little pockets. They are not, they do have um, a support inside so that they're a little bit sturdy, uh, not just fabric and floppy. So that's why they seem a little bit, you know, a little stiffer. You can kind of hear that. It's kind of fun. Anyway, those are those. If you're interested in any of them or you have any suggestions, I'm always, always looking for suggestions. I would love to hear what you think what um what you would like to see more of and again you know people have been asking about a um a tutorial and hopefully hopefully i it, it makes me nervous thinking about doing a tutorial because i'm you know i'm such a train wreck i'm just a hot mess when i'm doing this stuff so uh, but maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll get one done. And if you are interested in that and you have some suggestions for that, that would be really, really helpful. I, um, there, I can kind of zoom out a little bit. Maybe you can see my knee, my just dirty little, my raggedy jeans. Um, anyway, so yeah. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're interested in any of them, um, you can email me. My email address is in the comments or you can send me a personal message um, on, on Facebook and it's just under my name as, you know, same name, same name as my videos are under. So um, there's that. And yeah, I love your comments. I, I, they are important to me. I am very interested in what you have to say, what you think and how you're doing. So um, anyway, also... Look at this day. I'm going to rotate my camera up and hopefully it's not going to make you super dizzy, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful day. Crisp, clear, gorgeous. So I'm going to rotate up and hopefully you can't see my mess in my studio. I'm a little dog door. Anyway, so yeah, I can see our guest house from here and then our house, but the river is gorgeous. The fall colors are almost gone. There's still a little bit of color out there, but and the lawn's kind of dying because we don't have the irrigation in any longer because we weren't expecting to, um, we weren't expecting to not have rain for, you know, as long as we have months and months and months and months of no rain. So there you go. And uh, goodness sakes, it's so stinking cold, cold, cold and dry. Um, this morning when I got up, it was like 29 degrees, so not really too bad. Not awful. Um, it was terrible, I think. I'm so cold. But, um, and then by like 8 o'clock, it was 27. It was so cold. 27 degrees. There was frost on everything. Really cold. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I hope it's beautiful where you are. I hope you're all getting excited and ready for Thanksgiving. Um, that's coming up. I'm so excited. Family, friends. Oh, here comes... Here comes the big guy. Oh, is he coming through? No, he's gonna, no, no, uh, yeah. Hello, hi buddy, you gonna come in? <laughs> anyway, so Thanksgiving, family, friends, good stuff, good food. Don't overeat, but have a great time, play games and have have just some good, good family fun. And um, be safe, be careful, safe travels. And God bless you. You guys have just a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, love hearing from you. Talk to you soon. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye.